So today we have got to go and do some spreading on the grass fields I planted at the beginning of spring. They don't look to be doing too good. Hopefully this fertilizer is going to start give it a bit of a pep up. But we need to get the spreader on. So we'll do that now. And then we need to go around to the dairy, grab some fertilizer and fill it up. Just get this on. All connected. Nice. So, yeah. Last week we had a bit of an offer. Bribery offer. That's how I'm putting it. From Archie. And I just. It just. It threw me. It's it's something that I can't just walk away from. It's a big deal, you know. But I really have to think about this. And obviously I need to know what the fields are and, and all the other stupid things. But anyway, we'll... We'll think about that another time. Let's get the let's get the forks on, uh, and then we can grab a fertilizer bag. Forks are just here. I don't use them that much anymore, really. So we'll go around, grab the fertilizer bag, stick it in the spreader, and then we'll go down to those fields. Don't know what David's doing today. And to be fair, it doesn't really matter what he's doing, because it doesn't affect us anyway. We'll just turn it around and it's easier to get in on these from this angle. Thread the needle. We're good. Nice and steady. Strip. And then we'll get it over the top. And drop them in. We'll drop the whole bag in there, but we'll take the whole bag. Should do. Yeah, whole bag's gonna go in. Nice. Right, we'll put this away, and then we'll get down to these fields. We won't lock it up, because I'm sure we'll need it again at some point. Right, so there's these two fields here, this one on the right, and the one just there in front of us. Like I said, they're planted, they've, um, but they just look really sad. So we'll give them some pep up pills. I don't think we're going to get an early first cut off of this at all. <laughs> nope, not at all. Which is going to be a shame, but I think they're much larger than the ones we were getting the hay and everything off of before. So I think they'll be f they'll be fine anyway because we'll get we'll have more bales than we normally do off of one cut, let's say. So, now I was planning to have the big Massey this week, but they haven't got it back from wherever it's on demo at the moment. So, I just gotta wait. 
David did uh, have a helpful suggestion, surprisingly, of uh, having a look at some JCBs. The fast track. And it's not something I've really thought about, but yeah. I've not looked at them because they're bigger than this, so... But yeah, I'm going to have a look at some JCBs. So we're pretty much done on both the fields, I'm just going around making sure I've got all the edges. I had a phone call from Doi, and he's got an issue, and he can't find his pallet forks. So he's asked me if I can go and lift out his pallets of wool from shearing that need to go from the shed. Which of course I can do, but I don't understand how he's lost his pallet forks. Bit strange. But anyway, yeah. So we're gonna, once we're finished here, we'll just head up to him and see what the situation is. Um, I'm not sure where these pallets are. Just do around these trees. And that will be us done in here. It's nice to see some crops going into these fields. These fields have led pretty pretty empty and bare for a few years now I, I don't know why he's never done crop rotations on them and things but he just hasn't but he decided that he was going to chew them up replant grass and then uh, have his hay and stuff off of it but that's, that's David he doesn't really know what he's doing So we'll get this gate closed and we'll get into die and see what he's what he's all about. To find him. He said he'd be about the yard somewhere, so we'll just have a he's not anywhere well 
I'm not sure if David's got pallet forks or not. Let's go and see. God knows where Di is. There must be here as trucks here. Let's see what old Grumpy's at then. See if he's got some pallet forks. I don't, I don't think he has, but it'd be easier if they were if there were some down here. I could just take the John Deere loader and do it with that. What have we got? We've got forks in here. No. Less bikes. Bucket. No forks. We've got forks in here then. What are you doing? I'm looking for some pallet forks. We're at the dairy. Oh. Well, I thought you had some down here. Hell oh, yeah, what do I want some down here for when I got some up there? Yeah. Righto. Well, he hasn't got any pallet forks, and obviously we knew that they had them up. We had some up at the dairy because we just used them this morning. Um, but yeah. Less than help. This little thing is weird. It sounds like a little putt putt. Like a little putt putt. <laughs> but he loves it. If you remember, it re it's replaced his old Fiat that he had, which went down to his son in uh, in Wales. And as far as I know, it's still still going. No problems. We will just get this all out, and then we can load it straight onto the trailer for him, and then it's done. So we'll leave it just there. Turn her off. Yeah, it's not a bad tractor for what it is. A little. Let's. Well, let's just make sure that we're actually going to get in this. Uh, in this doorway. Yeah, I reckon we should do. It looks plenty big enough. That'd be fine, I reckon. Yeah. Right now, let's do it.
Oh, steady. Oh, don't you dare. F oh, we're going to lose it. Just get yourself back to the yard. Come on. Nice and easy. Careful, 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 careful. Oh, it's going to go. Oh, it's going to go. Oh. Easy. Alright. Push you out and drop you off. And then we'll spin that one around and pick it up. That was a pain. Come on. Slide off. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's nudge it up. And then we'll just give you a little push around. Whoop. That should do it. Pick you up, put you on. I've heard rumours that the the chap who uh, took over the pub, Matt, is. Uh, Interested in taking on the the, uh, the dealership, which I thought was a bit strange for a barman, but <laughs> or a landlord, I should say. But yeah, don't know how that's going to work. We'll have to. Whoa! Oh. That's what we saved, John. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh, John, that was very well saved, that was. Well, you're going to be professional, aren't you, Di? Oh, yes, John. So what's this about Archie offering you some fields, then? Well, it's not really something I want to talk about at the moment, Di. It's, uh, it's annoyed me, if, if I'm to be honest. Oh, yes, I can see why, John. Anyway, though, I better get on. We've got plenty to do. Okay, John. Well, I'll see you later, and thank you very much for helping. No problem, buddy.